Well, that enemy's always watching, just waiting for me to fall. I come to the belly of the shadow and say, I'm a king of the evil I've gone to me, oh, that enemy is
was down by the board for uh, watching out for Hunter. I thought Leather died. He, uh, I didn't know that he was wet or anything. He had water all over him. And he went and plugged up my Christmas tray when he did it, electrocuted him. And it just hurt his finger. And I could have lost my baby that day. So I Amen. Come on. Him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord 10,000 times. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. We read in the Word how that Elisha began to go and tell the king of Israel, don't go down this way. The enemy's got a trap set for you. Don't go down this way. How he began to sin and he would deliver himself out of the hand of the enemy. How did he did it? The Bible said not once or twice. It meant several times that God would move and deliver the king out of the king of Syria. Yeah. It got down to the point that the king began to get upset. The Bible said he was sore troubled. And the old king of Syria began to go among his people. He said, will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? He was looking to see what man was for the king. But what he failed to realize that man wasn't for the king, but God was for the king of Israel. Amen. Praise the Lord. One of the men began to answer. And he said, None of my Lord, O king, but Elisha the prophet, which is in Israel. He's telling the king of Israel those things that you speak in your bedchamber. Glory to God that the king of Syria had an encounter with the true and the living God. They thought that he would work something against God's anointing. He thought that he would do something against the people of God. But God was watching over his people. Glory to God. I know it's dark. I know it's hard. I know it's tough. But I'm going to tell you tonight, if you're a child of God and you're living for God, God is still watching over me and you in the midnight hour. God is still delivering me and you. I want to tell you why death didn't come and get you this week. God turned death out of the way. What? What's up? did not take you over this week and deliverance came your way because God Almighty said I want some of me and you and can't be in you yeah. in the time of our trouble. I can't talk to you. I'm going to look to that yeah. and I'm living God. Yeah. I don't know. Is your God dead? My God never did yeah. die. He never did die. Yeah. And he never did die. Yeah. And he never did die. Amen. Praise God. Pray Lord. <laughs> Pray Lord. They had Elisha never had a cell phone. He didn't have the internet. He didn't have a local bulletin board. And he didn't even go to the town gossip. But what he would do is he would go and he'd pray. And while he would get down and pray, the same Holy Ghost that dwells within some of you that's been baptized would begin to move upon Elisha and tell him to go and warn the king. Because they ain't no hiding place Amen. down here. They ain't no hiding place for God. But if the king would prepare God would deliver time and time again. Man. Praise the Lord. Glory I'm going to talk to you. Come on. Praise the Lord. Is your God alive? Amen. Is alive. Is he alive tonight? Amen. Lord, are God, are you alive? Yeah. Amen. Are you alive? Yeah. How are you alive? Mercy. How do you know you're alive? No. Does the Spirit give you life? Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on, brother. You can sing a while ago that song. And they kept going back to that same one. They sang part every time they sing. I feel that one come by. No harm. No harm. I want to tell you as far as the devil goes tonight, he is going to go no step further. Than what God will permit us to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when God said there'd be no harm, that devil can howl, he can holler, he can yell. Yeah. He can try to threaten you as much as he wants. Yeah. Yeah. And put a hand on that devil. Amen. And the devil have to sit down. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on. I ain't coming out to sit back and be a fear. Be the spirit in the house of God. Come on. I come tonight looking for the Holy Ghost to move yeah. among me and you. That same spirit of God that moved back then still moves tonight. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. We all look like the Lord began to move and the king began to get upset. Go find out. Go spy and find out where he's at and bring him to me. He might have had me in mind what he was going to do to that prophet of God. But what he felt is he was stretching forth his hand trying to fool with the anointing of God. You don't mess with the anointing of God. You don't, yeah. you don't go with the anointing of God. Yeah. Yeah. 
chariots. Let me put it this way. It would be as though uh, that old abomination sitting in the White House decided to send army tanks to your home Amen. and bring you in. Amen. Amen. That chariot, that was, their, that was one of their greatest developed weapons at that time was their chariots. Come on. Come on. Yeah. In the midnight hour, in the middle of the darkness, somebody failed to watch that night. I don't know who it was, but somebody failed to watch. When they got up early the next morning, the servant began to go and begin to look and see. You'd think when he was standing there and the old iron head began to swim, axe head began to swim in the water, that man would have had more faith in God. You would have thought every time that, that he would take care of the message from the prophet to the king. Glory to God. And God would deliver time after time. You'd think that man had more faith in God. But he got up that morning and he looked and he saw a host. The enemy had come in the, in the midnight hour. In a time of midnight watching. And the enemy set up all around and surrounded Elisha. They did not come for the servant. They did not come for the men of the city. They came there for one man. They came for Elisha. And that's when they made their mistake. Because God had His anointing upon Elisha. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 You remember Elisha, don't you? Amen. Huh? Glory to God. Glory to God. They begin to say, I pray that you give me a double portion Amen. of your spirit. Amen. You give me a double portion. Elijah, that it moves on you, I want twice as much moving on me. Hmm? Amen. And all of a sudden, this little old pitly king thinks that he's going to come down and capture that, that man of God. Oh, and what happened? Fear began to get upon the young man, being a young man, being an experienced baby. The fear began to get upon him, and he said, Alas! Uh, in a moment of exasperation, a moment of trouble, a moment where his faith had failed him, and he began to panic. And, Alas, Master, how shall we do? The enemy's all around us. Oh, the enemy's coming in. What are we going to contend with this? It's just me and you, these few here. What are we going to do? But you know what the man of God began to do? First, he kind of chided him a little bit and said, Fear not, because Elisha knew something that the young man didn't. He said, they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Glory, glory, glory. I kind of believe Brother John had that in mind when he began to write in 1 John, I think the fourth chapter, all them years later, and he said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I believe he had that in his mind when his spirit began to write and he thought back to the man of God and he began to say, don't be afraid, young man. What is more for me and you than they are? That's with them. How do you feel tonight in your battle with the enemy? Right. How do you feel with that struggle that you're going on with this evening? That's right. How do you feel about it? You feel outnumbered? You feel overwhelmed? Well, man, a woman that don't pray will get overwhelmed. Come on. Every year I've got to go this route. Now I'm going to do it again this year. Keep up the tradition. It's good if you got something to go and be able to, God bless you, to be able to go and get and gather for your little ones to give to them. But don't get carried away Amen. and let it keep you from the house of God. Amen. Don't get carried away and let it keep you from praying. Amen. Don't let it get in the way of serving God. Because the enemy will come in at a time that you're not watching. And before you realize it, the enemy will have you surrounded. And you'll be saying, what am I going to do? What am I going to do now? But the last thing going to say, Lord, open his eyes up. Let him see. You know, sometimes it's all about how we look at things. Sometimes it's just about our point of view. Yeah. I've been around folks. It wouldn't do you no good to ask them how they're doing because they never say, I'm doing all right. I'm well right. on this. Right. If somebody learned a long time ago, go ask them how they're doing. Because right. when you do, complain, complain, murmur, grumble, depression. Right. You, you hang around it long enough, guess what you're going to do? Yeah. You're going to be depressed too. Yeah. Grumble and complain too. But it's all about how we look at things sometimes. Yeah. Glory to God. Sometimes I'm winning the Lord to help us look through eyes of faith. I'm telling you there's a spirit of the Lord that can get on me and you and it can open up our eyes and let us look at things the way God looks at it. Glory to God. I'm telling you that them angels did not pop up on that mountain after Elisha prayed, but Elisha knew that the angel of the Lord, Glory to God, who commanded the Lord God, who commanded the Lord God, who commanded the Lord God, who Chariots of fire. 
wonder how many angels are with us in the house of the Lord this evening. Yeah. You don't believe in angels. Yeah. You're looking at a man tonight, I believe in angels. Yeah. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thousands of years ago. Huh? Glory to God and Jacob began to lay his head on a stone and go to sleep. And he had a dream. And he saw a great ladder. The foot of it was above the earth. To the top of it reached up to the heavens. And the Lord was standing at the top of it. And brother, what was that going up and down that ladder? He saw the angels of the Lord. You know what they was doing all that way back then? They was going to and fro. And they were ministering to the people of God. Amen. Oh,
You can't be of God and not know God. You can't be of God and not know His Son. You can't be of God and not know His Spirit. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the Spirit of truth and the Spirit of error. Amen. Brother, there is the Spirit of truth moving in my soul tonight preaching the Word of God to you. Amen. 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 Yeah. There is that that is true. The truth is that that is it, that is and was and always will be. That's what the truth is. Yeah. Yeah. Don't that sound like somebody you know? Yeah. Don't that sound like somebody you know? That, that is, was, Sit down with the pastor and sit and talk to him. 
I'll preach that tonight. You know what I found? Every time that enemy said, don't preach that tonight, I'm going to preach it. Right. I'm going to preach it. Because somebody is bound to get some help. He doesn't want anybody to get help. If he comes to you and said, don't sing, just be quiet. You've not been well. You're more sing strong. Just rest. You know what you need to do? You need to sing before you go out indoors. If it's just me and you, if I'm the only one still sitting here, sing me a song. Glory to God, because we need some victory over that enemy. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Are you living in bondage or are you free tonight? Come on. Are, are you living in bondage or are you free? Free. 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 Well, don't mean I don't have trouble. Don't mean I don't have trials. Doesn't mean the enemy doesn't fight me. I'm free tonight. Don't you put your hands up. The devil will get you this week. Oh, everyone. Well, then go right ahead and set your And by this time next week, you're going to be in the same shape you're in. I hit my horse. Stop being afraid of the devil. And make the devil afraid of what moves on you. Huh? Did you hear that? Mama, I know that the Lord flew in my life, big thing like that. I know I'm no match for that enemy. You're not. I, don't, I try not to walk around empty with that Lord. Yeah, Mom. You think that's the only time that the Lord is in here is when it gets up on me and moves on me? No. <laughs> I need to walk with me everywhere I go. Yeah. Everywhere that I go, I've got the hands in them. You know what we need tonight? We need a little victory. Yeah. Oh, day. Praise the Lord. It's been on songs that have been singing. How sweet that it's been. How good the Spirit of the Lord has been moving. Oh, you know, maybe just being said, Lord, open my eyes. You know, let me see. There might be some sitting here that you can't see the plan of God. You can't see what God is trying to do for you. You, you may not understand where you're at. No doubt there would have been an opportunity for that young man to say, I, I don't understand all the times that the Lord would, would teach Elisha where, where the trap would be set and the Lord would move and deliver the king. Why didn't the Lord move and deliver Elisha? Why did He let him come in and get surrounded? Oh, but the way God did it, didn't He get more glory that way? Yeah. God could have moved and, you know, told Elisha to get out of the city and let it got turned to even gone. They might have thought that would be a coincidence. But when he opened up the eyes of that young man, he changed that young man's life the rest of his days. I don't believe that man was ever the same. Amen. I don't know how long he lived after that. If he lived to be an old man, he was still changed after that experience he had with God. Amen. When he began to look and he began to see part of the host of heaven, the Bible, did you see how the word said around Elisha? I read that, and I read it, and I read it, and I read it. And we're not careful at times we'll think, well, the Lord just was surrounding all the men, protecting all the people in that city. He sent his angels to protect Elisha. Praise the Lord. Amen. Where are we? Makes you want to get good close to the Lord, don't you? Yeah. Huh? Praise the Lord. Glory to God. You reckon that's why we used to love to get around them old men of God? I'm talking about old school with them names they bang around about. We love to be around them. We hear this coming in, but we go and just, just be around them. Because just being around them makes you, it makes you feel better. Maybe it's because of what they have around about them. Huh? Oh, I'm going to tell around about me. So, Amen. Glory to God. Well, I've been sick, but he was still around me. What name would come to church? What name? He was still around me. Amen. Preacher, couldn't have healed you? Absolutely, 100% could have healed me. There wouldn't have been no recovery to it. Done. But he didn't. But he was still around me. Mm -hmm. You reckon maybe he didn't? Maybe because 
I needed to be humbled. Maybe I needed to get a little bit low. If we stay up all the time, we might get so crazy to think that it's us. Oh, but it's not us. It's Christ that lives within us. That's what makes the difference. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Well, I'm going to try, if the Lord will let me, I'm going to try to get out of the way. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Saturday night, family night. Oh, good to be gathered out with my brothers and my sisters. But let's not forget about those beings that you cannot see. Amen. Praise the Lord. My father's here. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. Yes, he is. Yeah, man. Is your father here? Amen. Yes, he is. But that is gone. Yeah. But that is gone. He's been here over nine years now. He's gone. But my father's here. Amen. Praise the Lord. You failed him since you've been here. Yeah. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Have you failed him since you've been yeah. here? I'm telling you, children, I know. What a, difference, what a difference that the Spirit of the Lord will make in mind your presence. In the little time that I've been up, there's a great big difference between what's now and what was before. Before defeated. Depressed. Sitting back ready to go to the house. <coughs> but now, I've got victory. I've got victory. If it be so, the Lord's able to deliver me. But if not, I'm not going to bow. I believe I'm going to hold on to the Lord. We don't want to stay with this, you wait. Children, we're almost home. Amen. Let me say that again and make you smile. We are almost All right. home. Amen. Amen. Tell me something about what the Lord's done for you in your life. We're getting closer to home now. 
I can see the lights of home. Just over the hill. Will you tell me something, Joe? How good has he been to you? Tell me about the time when the Lord God delivered you. When there wasn't nobody else that could do what was done for you. We just walk at each other. And after a while, you may look. Brother Jesse may be gone. Don't quit walking. Get a little bit closer, fill in that gap. Get a little closer, and finish your trip to the house. If I go ahead, I'm going to try to go my way on you. You go ahead of me, you go on your way on me. Because that little told me the last time I saw her, she said, Jesse, I'm getting ready to take me a long trip. Going on a long journey. She said, I don't know how long it'll be before you get there. She said, but when you get there, I said, you look for me. She said, I'll be looking for you. I said, hey, well, you look for me. Because I'm coming to you. All right. Huh? Yeah. Come on. You afraid of the devil tonight? Praise the Lord. It's not so much a secret to give you a secret. I do have fear about me tonight. I'm afraid of the Lord. Yeah. I'm afraid of Him. Yeah. yeah. Wisdom. Come on. You ain't and you foolish. Yeah. yeah. Wisdom. Fear God. Come on. Come on. You ain't afraid of Him. You're ignorant. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's the truth. Oh, but it's kind of like it's kind of like when we was little. Little bit fell. I was the youngest boy. It's kind of like when we was little. If Wayne was with me, I wasn't afraid of nobody. I'm not with you. Yeah. Come on, come on. I got somebody bigger than Wayne tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. I got somebody bigger than Floyd. Floyd's just a little old speck. Lord, don't. He just, whoop, off it goes. Yeah. But instead, he's doing like this. He's holding him along. Come on. Carrying him along. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah. Do you have victory tonight? Yeah. 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 Would you like to claim some victory this year? Amen. Come on. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God, would you send some victory right. yeah. my way? I need help. You need help? I need help. You need strength? I need strength. You need healing? I need healing. Come on. Yeah. What do you say that, brother? I want you to know. You know what I'm going this. All of us. All of us are going through this. Oh, but I'd rather go through this with the Lord than go through without. Hey, folks out there going through this and thanks to God, and they ain't ever known Him. I love the Lord, love His good way. I'm done. I was always open to the best tonight. Don't get placed in the devil.